Hey everyone, this is Mike from JetAdmin, and in this video we'll go over Jet Tables, which is our built-in internal database that you can use to store your data or your files. Jet Tables is pretty fast and reliable because under the hood it's Postgres. And it's a great way to get started with JetAdmin if you don't yet have your database of choice like Firebase or Postgres, or you have just a bunch of CSVs and Excel files. Another important point here is that all the infrastructure is taken care of. So you don't have to worry about hosting or maintenance or troubleshooting. And last but not least, JetTables has a storage built into it. So you can work with files and you can also build interfaces or apps for your end users to interact with those files, to upload, preview, and download. All right, now I'll show you how to upload CSVs into JetTables and get your data inside of JetAdmin so you can start building your app. So let's get started. I'll just minimize my camera here. And we click here, Jet Tables. And we'll see a model prompt that uh, allows us to choose how we want to start with our data. There are several ways. Uh, the first one is you can just choose a blank table, or you can choose one of the templates uh, that pretty much resemble certain data structures like customers, companies, or tickets. And obviously importing from files. And this is where we will go. Uh, and I've already downloaded two CSVs. It's just companies and customers, very basic structures. And I'll just click import from file and choose file. And you can uh, upload all kinds of files, JSON, uh, Excel, CSV, in my case it's two CSVs, I'll just choose the first one, it's companies. Wait a little bit. And already right here, I can make some changes. So for example, I can refine my collection name. And the best practice here is also to right away change the types of fields. So if, for example, this uh, is definitely a number and it has to be a number inside of JetAdmin. So I can go ahead right away and customize this field. And I can, instead of tax, I can go ahead and choose number. Here it is. And I will choose integer and click save. All right, that's how you do it. I will not go over all the columns here. Well, let's just assume that you've done that yourself and we click import file. We just wait a little bit and click continue. Here's our standard template model that allows you to get started with uh, some basic app template or layout. We'll skip that. We'll cover that in separate sections of this course. So we'll choose blank. It will essentially generate just a blank page. And we can go back to our data here and see jet tables. This is the resource we've created. And this is the collection, the table that we've uploaded using our CSV. And now we can start working with it. We can refine our data. We can go over the types. And there are lots of different things that you can do here, which once again, will be covered in a separate section. And, but that's it for this video. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.